Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, guys, I'm going to showcase the setup and mining of the Atom Miner AM01 FPGA, guys. This is my first FPGA. I'm going to showcase it to you guys. Let's go. So, I've been in talks with the developer and he showed me how to get it working and stuff. And it's actually pretty simple, it's really not that difficult. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, so before I begin, there is the USB cable that came with it. And as you can see, I'm close to my computer because this USB cable is pretty short. And then I have the power cable here, which goes into there. Uh, one thing to mention is that when I received this Atom Miner, it came with an international adapter. I'll show you here. This is the international adapter. It's not a, it's a, it looks like this. So if you're in Europe or international that has 240, you'll receive this plug. So I had to go ahead and order this little guy uh, power adapter, which was compatible for 120 or 110 volts in uh, North America. Uh, so that's where I'm from. So I have it plugged into a watt meter, guys. So we will we will look at the wattage after we get it after we get it mining. So um, just so you guys can see the wattage of it, depending on what algorithm it mines. Uh, right now. It is, it'll be doing profitable, the most profitable coin to mine. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now. So, okay. So here's the Atom Miner website, atomminer.com, if you guys would like to see more information about it. Pretty low wattage, eco-friendly crypto miner. It is advertised as an eco-friendly crypto miner because it's, it pretty much utilizes about 20 watts, um, depending which um, algorithm you're running. Okay, so for the install guys, the software installation. So we are gonna go and go ahead and do the VMware installation. So I'm gonna be doing this on my Windows machine here, which I showed you guys. And then, so first we're doing the VMware installation. There's also a VirtualBox installation, which is using, uh, I think the Oracle, the Oracle VirtualBox manager for virtual machines. And then there's a Linux install as well. So for more of you Linux guys, if you guys are more comfortable with this, you can do it this way as well. But I'm going to be doing the Windows installation with uh, VMware software. So first things first, make sure you download the Atom Miner pre-installed pre VMware image. And as the bottom left here, I already have it downloaded. Next, you'll want to download the VMware Workstation Player 15, which is here on their website. So I'll have this all linked down below. Uh, if by chance some of you do buy this uh, Atom Miner, I'll have it linked down below. Uh, VMware Workstation 15. There's also the version for uh, Linux as well, but uh, I'm going to be doing the Windows 64 bit. So I already have it downloaded, and then you just go ahead and install it on your machine. So let's open it up here VMware Workstation 15 Player. And there you go, here it is. And okay, so let's go back to the uh, how to doc here. Now we need to import the virtual machine into the uh, VMware 15 player. So you want to go ahead and click on open virtual machine and just open up the file you just downloaded, the virtual machine uh, VMware uh, file. And then you have to give it a name. You can just use the default name and then give it a, give it a path where you want to install it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it uh, the default uh, import uh, area. So just hit import and it'll start importing. You may get a error message uh, saying um, you may have to relax the OVH Im import. Uh, so then you just hit uh, retry and it should go in. So there's the, there's, the, there's the message that you may get on the first time install. Okay, next now we just go ahead and play the virtual machine. And you can see there, it's just booting into the, into the, into the Linux. Basically, it's Linux, and it's already gonna boot up the Atom Miner CLI Miner. So this is already the miner that's already installed, pre-configured, and boom! Right away, it's gonna say it's it's found some pools and uh, switching miners, checking for updates and um, as, as well as profit. It says most profit coin mine profitable coin at the moment. And right now it's stuck at Skyn2, which is the wood coin, I believe. So 
Before we start, I want to enter in my pool email address, okay? So, we gotta hit Alt F2 on your keyboard, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, type in Adam Miner, and then Adam, okay? Now we want to, yeah, because um, initially we're gonna get the uh, Adam, it's, the miner is gonna be mining to the donation address of the Adam Miner. So we just, we're just going to go into the config just to change our um, email address. So let's go into it. Uh, it's nano slash var slash atom miner uh, slash miner, atom miner config uh, dot conf, okay? So I have that in and then, um, then we'll press OK or enter. And you can see here the user is donate at atomminer.com. So we're gonna go ahead and put my test email here, which is redpandamining2018 at gmail.com. And then we're gonna go ahead and write it, which is control O. You have to hit control O on your keyboard and press enter, and there you go. So now it's written into the file, and we can verify that just by going into it again, and it's, it's good. Okay, so now you just have to hit Alt F1 on your keyboard to go back to the miner. And it says config settings related to the API has uh, been changed. So we have to restart the CLI for the changes to take effect. Um, so how we do that, we can just um, reset, reset the miner by just going Control C. And boom, you can see right there it restart, restarts the miner. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we're going to plug in the atom miner, guys. Let's plug it in. So let me blow this up so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing here. And uh, let me move this up. Okay. All right. So got the atom miner here. We're going to plug in the USB cable. And we're going to plug in the power cable. Boom. There we go, guys. That's it. Okay. So you may get a message. Um, from VMware saying, oh, uh, removable device has been found, then you just hit connect to your host machine. Um, but in case you don't, then you just hit, you just go to the, your top right of the VMware player and hit uh, removable devices. Go to your MCS AM01, which is the atom miner, and then hit connect. And you may get a message and then you just hit uh, OK. And you will see now, it'll say device connected. And that's it. So now we are already mining. And it should now be mining to my uh, pool address, which I have on pool.atomminer.com. And uh, it may not show up right away. It's still, it still has to find some, sh find some shares. But uh, I'll leave this open in the meantime. Um, so yeah, the miner right now, it's configured to, to mine to the most profitable. It's going to mine the most profitable coin. Uh, according to Adam Miner, there is a way to edit the pool list and config so that uh, you can mine to a different pool or mine to a coin that that you like. And um, the amount of different coins out there right now, there there are a couple guys. So um, as you can see on the Miner Adam Miner website, um, currently supported algorithms. Oh, let me let me close. Let me make this smaller. Okay, so. Currently supported algorithms and coins, guys. There's the Kesak, uh, MaxCoin, you know, CREA, Sloth, BCT. Uh, there's the SHA-3 for the Zen protocol, uh, SHA-56 for Bitcoin, um, Blakecoin algorithm, and a bunch of coins in there. Uh, gr uh, Grow Growestel, I don't know what that is, uh, which is the GRS coin, Skyn2, which I'm mining right now, which the Atom Miner is mining right now. And also, up and coming real soon is uh, Myriad coin, uh, Myriad algorithm, which is also a bunch of coins like Verge, uh, uh, Digibyte, um, which are pretty, pretty top 100 coins. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. The Atom Miner developer is going to um, send that to me real soon. So I'll make another video about that with the Atom Miner uh, mining uh, these different coins here, XVG, Digibyte, and there's some other ones here. Um, 
So yeah, I I want to show you guys um, since I, I haven't been able to change the config yet because uh, Adam Miner will be uh, updating this config section real soon. So um, just just keep keep note of that. And um, I did I did I did stream on uh, Twitch TV uh, just showcasing the Adam Miner about a couple days ago. And uh, as you can see here, I have the Atom Miner mining on the Kesak algorithm. As you can see, I have like 64, 65 accepted shares uh, mining at 540 mega hash. And my wattage on the Atom Miner was about 20 to 22 watts. So just as advertised, I was mining uh, MaxCoin uh, Kesak algorithm. So you can see that there. I have the proof there. And uh, follow me, guys, on twitch.tv slash redpandamining if you guys are interested. I, I rarely stream, but uh, sometimes I do. So, um, Okay, so let's go back to the pool here. I want to see if the pool can see my miner. Um, doesn't see it yet. It does take some time. But as you guys can see here, I have mined max coin, which, is, which was the Kesak. So I do have some max coin, 0 0.4 already. And uh, Woodcoin as well, which is the Skyn2 Skyn2 algorithm, and the balance is 0 0.09 uh, Woodcoin. And uh, you can see here I have some last 25 earnings right here. Uh, I found three hours ago, and 23 hours ago. So oh, look at that! So look at that! I already have an accepted share. Um, let's just see if it shows up on the pool here. Yes, yes it does. Boom, right away. There we go. So uh, the wood coin, I have, oh, apparently I have two workers. That's interesting. And uh, it shows the mega hash. Obviously, it's just getting the average. Um, so as I get more and more, more and more accepted shares, I should have more there. So um, yeah, pretty cool, guys. Um, that's the atom miner. So I hope to have, I hope to create more videos of more algorithms coming up um, my the Myriad algorithm with for the Digibyte and Verge I'm excited about so um, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, I totally forgot to show you guys the wattage uh, right now mining sky 2 so let's see it is getting around 9.9 9 .9 watts right now 8.9 .9 to 9 watts on the kilowatt meter so uh, that's what it is and um, yeah I'll have more videos showcasing the wattage and algorithms on this atom miner later on guys so uh, yeah let me know what you think guys this was pretty fun um, really cool uh, the algorithms are are the bit streams always update in real in real time it'll update into the miner as as you uh, as you restart it so uh, pretty cool from Adam Miner. I think it's really cool. Um, he says uh, there's no there's no fees whatsoever, and um, uh, lifetime free lifetime updates as well, and no dev fees and uh, all that good stuff. So also yeah, if you guys would like to buy one, check out the approved distributor list on his website here. Um, you can buy it from Epic Loots Mining, Statsfolio, Max Coiners, or New Miner UK if you guys are interested. Um, this wasn't a sponsored video or anything. He, uh, Adam Miner sent it to me as a review. Let, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.